The second proof of uh, particle theories of matter is the Brownian motions. This experiment is done by a scientist called Robert Brown. Robert Brown do these experiments. Uh, the experiment is like this. Okay? So Robert Brown actually is a botanist. Uh, so he put some pollens of the flower. He put it in the, in the water and then he observed it under microscope. And then he found that the pollens move in random motions. Uh, it go here and then go up and then go down again and go here. Okay? It move in a random motions. Uh, at the times, he can't explain why these particles move it this way, okay? But uh, anyway, he's the first man who discovered this. So other people's name this under his name. So we call this Brownian motions. Eh? But nowadays, we know why this happens. Eh? Why this happened? That is because inside water, this is inside water, okay? This inside water, there are a lot of water particles. Eh? water particles but we can't see the water particles uh, there are water particles around we can't see the water particles because the water particles are very small uh, and the pollens this is the pollens uh, are very big so you can see the pollen but you can't see the water particles uh. but when this pollen move it collide with the particles water particles uh, it collide and bounce back collide and bounce back collide and bounce back and this cause the random motions uh. so this is brownian motions so what you need to know about Brownian motion in SPM chemistry, first, you need to know that this is one of the proof of the particle theories of matter, one. Second, you need to know the definitions. In the exam, they will ask you, define Brownian motion, uh, then you must tell. Brownian motion is the physical phenomenon or what, okay? So uh, that's the second thing that you need to know. The third thing that you need to know about Brownian motion is... Um, what types of particles you can use in experiments uh, to observe the Brownian motions. Okay, so I'll give you here, okay. Examples of Brownian motions. Uh. Uh, another examples, just now we say the movement of pollen grains in water, right? Okay, uh, that is the experiments done by Robert Brown. Uh. Okay, uh, in your school laboratories, your teacher may show you this one, the movement of smoke particles in air. Okay, so this is another example of uh, Brownian motions. Okay, so this may be asked in your exam. Huh? What is Brownian motions? The definitions, and uh, is it the proof of particle theories of matters? And uh, examples of Brownian motions: huh? movement of, of smoke particles in air and movements of pollen grains in water. Can we say that Brownian motion is the particles in random motion and collide with each other? Not uh, cannot. You cannot say it collide with each other. Why? Because uh, usually we just put one pollen grains. So one pollen grains cannot collide with each other. They do not collide with each other. They collide with the particles of the medium. The medium can be the water or uh, the liquids. Uh, this motion is just for liquid and gas, isn't it? Uh, Brownian motion, yes. Okay, Brownian motion, yes. Just in uh, liquids. Okay, you see, yeah? They write that this immersed in fluid. Fluid. Fluid means gas or uh, liquids. Eh? Fluid. 